This video is for class 7 physics and today we shall discuss the measurement of temperature. In our previous video, we had discussed about uh, what temperature is and the units of temperature. Now, the temperature of a body is measured by using a device called thermometer. Probably you have studied about this in your previous class that is class 6. A thermometer works on the thermal expansion of liquids. Now what is thermal expansion? It is actually the growth in size or the increase in volume of a liquid when we heat that liquid. Now the most common type of thermometer which we use in the laboratory is the mercury thermometer. We have alcohol thermometer also. In figure 5.3 a shows a thermometer, we shall see that figure afterwards. It consists of a glass capillary tube with a bulb at one end. The bulb is filled with mercury. The long part of the capillary is called the stem. The stem has the markings from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius with 120 equal divisions in between them. Its zero mark is at the level of mercury in the capillary when its bulb is kept in the melting ice. That means the temperature of melting ice is taken as 0 degree Celsius. The 100 mark is at the level of mercury in the capillary when its bulb is kept in the boiling water. Hence, the temperature of a boiling water is considered to be 100 degree Celsius. Now, as you can see here, this is the figure of a thermometer. Okay, it consists of mainly two parts, the bulb and stem. In between them, there is a capillary, a small tube which connects the bulb and the upper part that is the stem here which is given by the small thread like tube. Okay, and in that tube, okay, we feel mercury right such that it gets collected in the bulb here. Now, why mercury? Because mercury expands evenly with the rising temperature. This, so, here you can see capillary consisting of mercury, the black color here. Now, uh, this 0 degree here is taken as the melting point of ice and 100 degree here is taken as the boiling point of water. So, uh, the thermometer's lowermost, lowermost point that is the lower standard point is minus 10 degree here in this particular thermometer and the upper standard is 110 degree Celsius. So, this is not the clinical thermometer, this is a normal thermometer which we use in the lab. Now, how to use this thermometer? Measuring the temperature of a body using a thermometer. To measure the temperature of a body with the help of thermometer, the bulb of the thermometer is kept in contact with the body. The thermometer rises, sorry, the mercury rises in the capillary, wait for some time. When the mercury does not rise further and gets stabilized at a level, note the reading of the mark up to which the mercury has risen, keeping your eye in the horizontal line in the level of mercury as shown in this activity also, here horizontal line okay, at the level of mercury. So here what you can see is, uh, you have taken a water in a beaker, you have placed the thermometer vertically inside the beaker such that its bulb is immersed in water but it does not touch the sides of the beaker. If it touches the sides of the beaker, then it will not give us the correct reading. Wait till mercury rises. When it becomes stationary, read the mark of level of mercury by keeping your eye as shown in the figure 5.4. In figure 5.4, the temperature of water is 30 degrees Celsius. As you can see here, it is 30 degrees Celsius here. Now you can see the bulb is not touching the sides of the container also. So, I hope you understood, uh, sorry, I hope you understood this uh, measurement of uh, temperature, okay. Uh, this much for this uh, video, thank you so much.